working with 12 techniques for chalk pastels. For this demonstration, I will be using Canson Maitant Pastel papers in a dark gray tone, tracing paper, Mungio soft pastels, and a Posca white marker, and an X-Acto knife. Take the paper and divide it into sections. You will need 12 sections, so four across and three up and down. Label each section with the following titles. Blending, side stroke, side stroke layered, broken color, Split the next box into hatching and cross hatching. Scumbling, pointillism, feathered, drawing, twist, rolling, and dusting. For this demonstration, I will be using a red and yellow soft pastel. Under the heading saying blending, put your pastel down and then rub it in a circular motion. This will cause a lovely blend. Then place one color and then layer the other color on top of it, just on the right hand side. Start by blending in using a circular motion, work towards the center, and then work back again. You'll see you get a lovely shade of orange from the red and yellow. Then do this in the reverse. Side stroke is exactly what it sounds like. Take your pastel and rub it along the side edge of each pastel. Side stroke layered would be the same thing, but then take the opposite color and put it on top and you will see how you get a lovely blend of the two colors without actually blending it together. Broken color consists of you creating several small sections in one color leaving a small space between them, then filling that small space with the opposite color. This way, from a distance, the color should look like a blend of orange from the two colors coming together. For hatching, you just draw straight lines using the edge of your soft pastel. You can also do various patterns by changing the direction of the hatching to give you a texture. Cross hatching is where you draw in one direction, then draw the opposite direction. You can do this in the same shade or in two shades. Scumbling is a technique of pushing and um, moving your pastel, creating natural shapes. Pointillism is where you take the corner of your pastel and create a series of dots. I have done this using the red pastel. Then in the spaces between the original dots, I'm using a yellow pastel and putting more dots in between. This should create an optical illusion and give me the color orange from a distance. The feather technique involves a series of strokes with another series of strokes layered on top. And you can do this all in one color or in various colors, allowing for a blend of the two colors to create a third color. Drawing is simply using your pastel to actually draw like a pencil.
twist is where you put the side of your pastel down and you turn it and you can create some various shapes and do some beautiful blends with this method as well. Rolling is where you take the top edge of your pastel and you roll it across the paper and create a broken line, creating a very natural effect. Dusting is where you take a sharp knife and you rub it along the side of your pastel, creating a fine dust. You then take a piece of tracing paper and place it on top of the area that you have been dusting. You hold the paper in place firmly and you gently rub over the dusted area. You will notice throughout this video that I am lifting up the paper and tapping off the excess dust from the pastels. Do not blow it as it would not be good for your health if you breathe it in. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of my videos. Be sure to ring the bell if you'd like to get notifications when I post new videos. Thank you for watching.